Rando kid, I remember reading this story. It's called Sarah's Secret Place. Secret Hang Place. Let's start the story. Sarah has three brothers. They like to play with her. When Sarah wants to play alone, she goes to her tree house. So she loves playing with her brothers, but when she wants to play alone, she goes to her tree house. That's good. That's awesome. Let's see. Where is Sarah? Donnie asks. In her tree house, Keith says. I guess this is Sarah says they're in her tree house and Donnie looks bored. Let's see. Donnie misses Sarah. Sarah, can I come up? Johnny asks. Let's see what is Sarah's answer. No, Sarah says. I'm fighting a dragon. I can't fight a dragon, Donnie says. Let's see what will happen next. Sarah and Donnie fight the dragon. That looks cool and awesome. Where is Sarah? Donnie asks. In her treehouse, Keith says. Now Donnie's asking for Sarah. Johnny misses Sarah. Sarah, can I come up? Johnny asks. Let's see what will be her answer again. No, Sarah says. We're playing pirates. I can't be a pirate, Johnny says. So first, Sarah was playing dragon with Donnie. Now they're both playing pirates, but now Johnny wants to play with them pirates too. Let's see. Sarah and her brothers find buried treasure. Arg! Ooh, they're playing treasure hunt as pirates. Arg! That's awesome. Where is Sarah? Ma her mom asks. In her treehouse, Keith says. Now Keith looks bored. Let's see what Keith will do. Keith misses Sarah. Sarah, can I come up? Keith asks. Let's see what will Sarah say. No! Sarah says, we're digging in Egypt. I can dig too, Keith says. So first, Sarah was playing Donnie and fighting the dragons. Then she was playing pirates with Johnny and Donnie. And now they're playing Egypt. Let's see. Sarah and her brothers find dinosaur bones. So now Keith, Donnie, and Johnny and Sarah are playing Egypt and they're discovering dinosaur bones in Egypt. That looks cool. Can we come back tomorrow? Keith asks. We can play cowboys, Johnny says. Sarah nods. She wants to play cowboys. So now they want to come back to the treehouse and play cowboys. And Sarah loves to play cowboys. Let's see. Sarah likes playing with her brothers after all. So no more being alone at treehouse to play for Sarah. Now she will play with her three brothers in the treehouse all together. And that's the end. And that's the story from this book. Well, I think that we all learned a lesson, right kids? that sometimes we could all have fun and make them new games and there's something that we sometimes we usually need for a little break like on by ourselves and playing our own games right right Tika? yes you sure are right right mr crow yes you are right so some question is why 
What was Sarah playing first with her brother Donnie? Well, they were playing. Hmm. They were playing fighting the dragon. And where? In the treehouse. Well, first of all, Sarah wanted to play alone in the treehouse. And she didn't want nobody in her treehouse. That's her only for Sarah. But when her brother Donnie was looking for her, they were playing. Well, she let him in so they could play dragon fights. Oh, thank you, Mr. Crow. You're welcome, Jacob. So, another question. Who else was looking for Sarah? Johnny. Yeah, little Johnny was asking Keith, where is Sarah? And he, Keith said, Sarah's in her, um, treehouse. And so Johnny misses Sarah. So Sarah has Donnie in her treehouse playing dragon fight, and then they were playing pirates. So Johnny asked her, um, Sarah, can I come up, please? She said, no. Why? Because there's only Donnie and Sarah playing pirates. But then she let Johnny come up to play pirates, and they were searching for treasures. That is so much fun. Donnie, Johnny, and Sarah were searching for treasure as pirates. Arrgh! 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 So then... When, who else was looking for Sarah? Um, Sarah's mother was looking for her. And Keith, he looks really bored on the table by himself with nobody to play with. Yep, he looks like this. Like this. Like there's nothing to do, right? Yes! So Keith misses Sarah. So Keith went to go ask Keith and Sarah. So Keith asked Sarah if he could go up and play. Yeah, they were playing, digging, bones, in Egypt. So yeah, Sarah, Sarah, may I come up? And Sarah says, no, we're digging in Egypt. And then Keith said, I could dig in I could dig too. So they were playing, they were searching for dinosaur bones in Egypt. So they were playing digging, digging in Egypt. It was Donnie. First Sarah, then Donnie, then Johnny, then Keith, and they were all playing, digging for bones, dinosaur bones in Egypt. So the boys and Sarah, they all have fun. So then they said tomorrow, what did they say? They wanted to come back to play in the treehouse tomorrow. They wanted to play... Cowboys together with Sarah. And Sarah loved that idea of playing cowboys with her brothers in the treehouse. So then Sarah switched a sign. It's not, it's, it is not Sarah only anymore. It's now Sarah and her brothers. Yes. And that was the end of the story. So Sarah wanted to be alone, huh? Right? Yeah, that's true. But it's better to play with someone else than not playing alone. That is true. Sometimes you do need a little break and create your own games to play by yourself in order to share with everyone else. That is correct, Tiger. So what advice would you get to the boys and girls? My advice is, you, if you want to play by yourself, you can make your own games. Yes, but it's better to play something you can play with anyone that you love to play with. And even with your brother and sister or friends or neighbors, you can play with anyone, boys and girls. And then you create a game to play with. Imagine your games that the games that you want to play. Or the places that you want to go, like Egypt. Or pirates searching for treasure on a treasure hunt. Or many one nights fighting off dragons. You could create your own games. Yes, but you gotta be careful and play safely, okay? And then sometimes you have a hiding spot, don't tell anyone. You go and tell someone that you love to play with. And also your parents too. Yes, but you girls, you gotta be careful what you're playing and also where your hiding spot is at, okay? So it's better to... 
have family to play with you or friends or neighbors. That is true. And play it safe, okay? Good night, everybody. We love you all, and don't forget, be yourself. And imagine the games or places that you want to visit. Don't be silly, Mr. Crow. I know we're always silly, right? Good night. Love you all. And have a nice night. Oh, time to sleep, Tika. Oh, you said it, Mr. Crow. So, boys and girls, me too. I like to create my own games too. There's some things I like to bet by myself. That way I could think of games or stories that I want to create. And there's sometimes I like to play with my cousins for next door. We like to create our own games. And sometimes we, we, I made this game that is called, um, I think it's called um, Monster Chase. I made that game. It means I made a, I was playing with my cousins. So in that game is you have to be at home or in a safe place and the monster. If I tag you, well, you're my partner. You're my monster. And you gotta help me and get others as well. And the last person, who's the, the last one that's not it, is the winner. But you gotta hide very good the monster will not get you. And your safe place is your home. So that's what I play. We don't play that. I don't play that game in the night. We play that in the afternoon and the day. I play that game with my cousins. And there's sometimes we like to make up our own. Sometimes we like to play hide and go see. We like to play um, capture the flag. We play capture the flag. And here's the room that has my flag. So we do play capture the flag a lot in the yard. So we do like creating games. And also we, and when I'm in here in my room, I like to create stories stories like I'm making my own stories too right now I'm making this one and I will read it to you kids on Tuesday so thinking creative just like Sarah Sarah was thinking very creative with games that she does to play uh, places that she wants to imagine where she is and um, sometimes it is okay to play by yourself but it's better to have someone help you play those games you know Sometimes I like to, I do like to play along with my cousins a lot because I like to think creative. Thinking creative makes me me being myself and having some fun with my cousins. You could think creative too, boys and girls. Because that's who you are. You could think creative games that you wanna play. Like let's say the Avengers. Oh, definitely, I will play the Avengers. You want to be whole? You could be any character. Just imagine you're in the movie, boys and girls. Just imagine you're part of superheroes too. Or you want to play like um, princesses? And I played this game. No, saving princesses from evil villains. I played this. I made up this game with my little cousin Aaron. And we would like pretend we're traveling to other worlds to save princesses from evil villains. Like we'll go through, I will have her like sit on the swing, and I'm pretend the pilot in front of her, and then we would like, we will imagine we're going to the chocolate mountain, or through through um Macaroni River, or we would create, we will go through like um Rainbow Land. In order to get to the castle to say Cinderella from the evil stepmother or Snow White from the evil queen or any princess from any evil villain. To say that from any evil villain. So, our game that me and Aaron created while well, I created this game more, it was it's called Saving the Princesses. So, you can pretend that you're saving a princess from an evil villain, but you gotta go through any obstacle challenge and I love that so think of creating games at home boys and girls that more than you are comfortable with but you have to play it safe okay you can play with your brother or sister your parents your grandparents anyone that you want to play with at home you can play with them but play it safe okay all right I gotta go everybody good night y'all have a nice night love you all kids good night